What's up? How you doing? Let's finish up uh, the last question. So face. I'm gonna start with the face question. So this is something called exponential rule in logarithm rule. If you have a log, let's say this is x equal to zero. Let's say they say has value of x. So if there's no base here, if there's no base, <coughs> write ten. Automatically is ten, and the automatic. So you push this. You see this? Push it here. When you push it here, it's going to be equal, means this 10 is going to come here, and this is going to raise to the top, is it? It's exponential. And then here you left with x, and this log disappears. So the value of x equal to, x equal to 10 power, 0. And the number power 0 equal to 1, so x equal to 1. That's how you get exponential rule. If somebody give you, let's say this is 2, say negative 2, equal to log, um, log, let's say this is x, and so let's say 3, find the value of x. So how are you going to do? You see this number here? Push here. When well, the push is going to be 3, but this is going to go to the power negative 2 equal to x. And then you can leave the number like this. This is not a good way. So you same say y and then reciprocate. You write at the bottom. You want to change this sign to become positive equal to x. And this equal to 1 over 9. So value of x equal to 1 over 9. So this rule is called exponential rule exponential rule you know why you use exponential rule because it comes from logarithm and then finally it end up as exponential because it has a power of exponential see it just starts as a logarithm but it end up as an exponential exponential something like this in this exponential this is the base and everything is the power that's why we call exponential rule so we're going to do the same thing for that question okay we're going to do the same approach let me show you how we do that and apart from that i want you to know Whenever log, whenever log is addition, like if somebody gives you, let me use that card quick. If somebody gives you log a and then plus log of b, if they have the same base, same base, let's say this is x base and this x base. Base is like something right under the log here. You <coughs> see here, like here, here, and just a little under. So when the base is the same, you can multiply. If it's addition, you can multiply. So this is going to become log a times b, a, b, and then one base x. So it's acceptable. This you can bind them together. There is a law of addition and multiplication. So if you want to split it, you can split like log of t q. This, let's say, there's no base. So we know this must be base 10 if there's no base. So if you want to split, it's going to say log of t plus log of q. But our bottom end base 10. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do the same approach for this question here. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So let me show you how we can do this question here. So I wanted you face, I want you to understand what is happening. So we're gonna start solving you know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do, look, face before I apply exponential rule, these two terms I can put them together. Look, they have the same base, this have the same base, and it's plus. So I can multiply them, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna say this is gonna become log base are the same. The log only apply when the base are the same. So I'm going to write only base 2 and it's addition so I'll multiply x plus 2 times x minus 1. So bracket x plus 2 and then x minus 1 and then right inside we have it 2. Oh! So to apply the law of multiplication now I can apply exponential rule. You know why? Because look I got something here and I got the base and there's a 2. And you apply exponential rule when you have a, something equal to something. Let me say this. Exponential rule you apply only when you have a log on one side. You see? When you have a log on one side. And it must be equal to something. Then you apply exponential rule. Do we have that? Oh, yeah, we have. That means you want to push this two to this side. So it's going to be two. And this one comes as, as exponential. So here we're going to be left with x plus two. And then x minus one so this is quadratic now now okay this is normal quadratic so this let me say uh, uh let me multiply x times x x square x times negative one is negative x uh, so it's going to be negative x and now two times x is positive two x and then two times one negative one is going to be negative two equal to four so we're going to bring it back so this is going to be x square uh, Minus x plus x equal to plus x. Negative 2, and when this is going to come over, it's going to be negative 4. Negative 2 minus 4 equal to negative 6. Equal to 
zero. So now we can factorize. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna come here and finish up my equation. So to get x squared must be must be x and x. To get six, it depends. It could be five on the one, it could be twenty-three. Excuse me, but I want to look at the middle one. Uh, this must be twenty-three. Two and three. Because this is the middle one. And now look, if this middle is positive, on a bigger number between these, I'll put positive or bigger number. But how am I going to get negative six? Means this must be negative because negative two times uh, positive three equals two, negative six. When you multiply this, you're going to get that. So this equals to zero and this equals to zero. That's how we finish. You see, x minus two equals to zero, either or x plus three equals to zero. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to go over. Once it goes over, to me, sorry. That's going to go over. Apology. Okay. When this one goes over, it's going to be x equal to 2 or x equal to negative 3. Okay, so now look. This is very, very important. So which one are you going to take the solution, solution set? Okay, so now. The base way here you can do, you say you got x equal to 2 and x equal to negative 3. Now you can test and see left hand side must be equal to right hand side, but I'm not. Whenever you have a log, anything in front of log it must be positive. Like whatever is in front of the log. If you have a calculator test, say log of negative 1 is going to say error. Log of 0 is going to say error. Why? Because anything we see is in here, in here in front, it must be greater than zero like if somebody say log of y means this y must be bigger than zero anything like if you say log of t minus four means all of this must be greater than zero greater than zero not even zero so now let's taste and see we, if any of these gonna give us zero here then we trouble we don't want that value so now take two if you put two it's gonna be log of four number one now you take two again here log of two minus one one Yes, yeah, so all of them they work. Now, because you're gonna get something here, I'm gonna get something, so it's cool. No problem. But let's try negative three. If you put negative three, it's gonna be negative three plus two, equal to negative one. So log of negative one, problem. We don't want log of negative, so this does not qualify, so this is not true. You know what I'm saying? So our solution set is gonna be this one here. For question number 23. Is going to be option two. So this is option two, question number 23, option two. Now we go question number 24. So question number 24, let me make a face here. Finish. Express this in terms of logarithm with the base nine. With the base nine means we have to change the base. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. Okay, so I take this. So log not. If you have a log of k, there's a lot of simple rules in logarithm. How to understand, memorize, and then know how to apply them. Memorize the rule and know how to apply them. You know what I'm saying? So log k. Let's say this is t. There's a rule say. B same is a log of k. No, I think I just showed you now. Now over log of t. I did show you in previous question. So that's acceptable. So now here I'm gonna say I'll take log of this and the log of this. So it's gonna be log of what of x minus three. Let's say over log of three. But since they say it has to be base nine, means you have to introduce the base here. Now this gonna be base nine and this gonna be base nine. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Be minus log log of what of x plus one and this is going to be log but I don't want to have a three number like one over three I don't want to have that so I'll say one over three maybe this is power one and this I say three power negative one so rather say three power negative one but both of them is base nine base nine now we go we finish now we finish in that so 
So now we're gonna say now. <clears throat> we're gonna say now. Now, whatever you have, let's say log k. Let's say log k. Any number can be anything. Power three. Whenever you have this, you take this power to the back. Look, look. This is log. K, K is here, and then this is power. This is not base. Okay, this is like a power here. There's no base here, for example. You take this to the front. So what I'm gonna draw, take here, this, you see? This is the base, now and then there's another power. So we're gonna take this one behind here. So the other one is gonna come behind here. So this is gonna come log of x minus three, and the base nine. Excuse me, and this gonna be, okay. This is going to be log 3, 9, and this is going to be minus, and this one here is going to be, remember minus is going to be here, it's going to come here, so log of base 9, x plus 1, and then over, negative is going to come here, and then log of 3 and the base 9, so negative and negative positive, so no right, negative and negative, right off, rather positive. Now the question is finishing that, okay, these base are the same, it's like, let's see, group, group, base the same. I'll put everything under one base. So V is equal to all of this part under one base. What is our base? Our base is the whole log of auto 3 and the base 9 and the top is going to be log to the log of auto x minus 3 and the base 9 and the base 9 the log Plus log of x plus one and this nine. Okay, next things. So the next thing is we almost finished. Now remember you can simplify this separately. Okay, this one. Okay, you can simplify separately. Okay. No. This is log of three and this nine. I can say this and say log. 3 over, because I could say log of 3 over log of 9 is acceptable. Like you make log of 3 and log of 9. You know that rule, which is this one. So log of 9. And then, look, I can split this. Because this is going to be log of 3. But what is 9? 9 is 3 square. Means it's going to be log of 3 square. And log of 3 square. 2 is going to go to the back. So it's going to be 2 log of 3. This and this cancel. So it's like a one here, so equal to a half. So I don't have to write this one now, no, I can write a half. Okay, and a lot of things, let me make a sense here. A half. And another thing, another thing, look, so this is gonna be a half, this stuff here, half, we just shown. Okay, so equal, this equal, or oh, you want me right here, okay, let me right here. So here is going to be half at the bottom, you know, oh, now nah, it's fine, you can see the half, the top one, look, log, same base, same base, is a plus, means I can multiply, I can write only one log, and the base 9, and there was x minus 3, x plus 1. So finally, this two is gonna to go to the top and that's the end of the game. So finally, equal, this two is gonna come here. It's gonna be two, and one is gonna remain at the bottom, and then here, it's gonna be log of x minus three, and then x plus one, and that's our end, because over one, anything divided by one, it does something. So it's like 4 divided by 1 is 1. So I can just say everything divided by 1, it does something. So this will be a final answer because we divided by 1. So which is option 3? Option 3. Face on my channel. Okay? Make sure you subscribe. Share to a lot of people, man. African Prime, African Time. I'm a Sub Saharan native. Get distinction. Easy, man. Easy, man. Peace. I'm out.